Hello, Stampers! Welcome to Sunday Night Facebook Live. I'm Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you from Menasha, Wisconsin. I'm going to wait for a few people to pop in here before I get things rolling. There we go, Bonnie. You're the first one watching. Yay! Hi, Rhonda. Welcome. So happy to see you guys popping in. Hi, Jody, Lisa. How was your weekend? Did you guys have a good weekend? Jackie, welcome. I spent the weekend with my mom. Hi, Kelly. So, uh, yeah, I had a home party over in the center of the state. And so I went and stayed with my mom from about Friday afternoon until I came home today. Hi, Terry. Hi, Connie. Welcome, Judy. Connie, where was I? Oh, I went to Haley's doctor's appointment last week. And um, I got the time all screwed up again. I don't know what my, I do know what happened, but it's a long story. Anyways, I went into the um, hospital gift shop because I like to, they have some nice things at hospital gift shops. And um, Connie, the one thing that I bought was some sea salt caramels with dark chocolate. Thank you for that addiction. Because <laughs> I can't resist them. When we went on our cruise, we were at the airport, and I went into one of the stores there, and they had a box of them, and I bought them, too, and took them on the ship with me. <laughs> hi, Jamie. Hi, Robin. Kay, Mary. I see people popping in here now. Holy cow. Terry, welcome. So, yeah. Um, Haley had a doctor's appointment last week, and everything is going good. They are gonna do one more ultrasound this coming Friday, so I get to go to it, and I will be there on time, and I will not miss it, because I already had my fail mom moment when she had the last ultrasound, and I went to the wrong facility. Honest mistake, right? I don't know. Anyways, I'm excited about that, because I'll get to see that little weedly. <laughs> I'm still calling her that. Okay. Um, let's see, what happened this week? Did you guys catch my Friday blog hop? I have some really pretty cards. Look at this beauty. Yeah, this uses the Happy Birthday to You stamp set and also the Happy Birthday dies that are part of the coordination product release that's going on right now. So you can get dies to match those. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Marsha. And then I also made this little beauty. This uses the um, hot air balloon punch upside down to make a vase. What do you guys think of that? Ah, I colored the flowers with blends. And then, whoops, this, I'm backwards on, so it's really hard for me to do this. Okay, this paper right here and this paper right here are both part of the golden honey is that what it's called? Golden Honey Specialty Designer Series Paper. That is back in stock. Yeah, let me grab that. See if I can find it here in all my papers. Yep, here it is. This paper. So I used the striped paper. And then I used the black and white. Um, this pattern. And with that purple card, you can change that black and white paper to any color you need it. So I just sponged on a little Highland Heather to make it purple. I love that you can do that with the black and white. You can do it with the gold ones too. I mean like, whoops, this one, you can change that to a different color besides white in the background. But that's how I did that. And both of these cards use that golden honey and they have nothing to do with bees. My friend Barb hates bees because she had them like coming into her um, stamping office studio for a long time and they couldn't figure it out. So she like hates bees. But the bee paper used in a different way. Yeah, pretty cool, right? Yeah, oh and thank you, Cynthia says great idea to use the punch. I know, um, that punch is right here. And I just turned it upside down and made a vase out of it. And then I put it through the um, embossing folder, the coastal weave embossing folder that's part of the tropical oasis. So I thought it was a pretty cool idea. Yeah. Okay, so, and can you see the Wink of Stella on the flowers? I don't know, oops, here we go. Can, you, can I get it to glare? No, I can't, but anyways, it's there. <laughs> it looks pretty, pretty cool. So that was my blog hop on Friday. This week I have, I thought I had like kind of a smooth week, 
Like, I didn't have a lot going on because I have to go to, first of all, Haley's baby, or, um, yeah, her baby appointment for the ultrasound on Friday so I can see that little chicky poo. And then um, I was thinking, well, I have my Wednesday tip video. And then I got to thinking, well, then I have my paper pumpkin blog hop on Thursday. Totally Techniques blog hop on Friday. Sunday is the Stamping Society blog hop and tutorial. <laughs> And I'm planning a baby shower this week. So, yeah. It's uh, going to get a little nutty here. Oh, well. That's how, I, that's how I operate best is when things are nutty. So, anyways, that's what I have going on. Watch for that Stamping Society um, blog hop on Sunday. I think it goes live at 5 a.m. my time. And that's the one that I have a tutorial. You can get the tutorial free when you place an order with me, or you can order it from me for $7, and it has usually six different projects in it. Each one has an exclusive video tutorial to show you how to make it. So, oh, and what are we doing? <gasps> timeless Tulips! We're using the Timeless Tulips bundle um, for the March tutorial, so I'm excited to work with that. So I have to get that made. I have to get my Totally Techniques made. I have to get my paper pumpkin alternatives made and I thought as long as I was talking about that this is the newest paper pumpkin kit this is the one for February and then let's see if I can get this the correct way this is the stamp set and look at this gorgeous flower oh I can't wait you got a piece of cake here some greetings some other florals lots of um, different greetings and then I don't know what those are Oh, ha, these right down here, that is to fill in a two-step stamping for the cake. Hello. Yeah. So this is the March Paper Pumpkin Kit. And if you have never subscribed to Paper Pumpkin, you guys, it's super, super fun. These are our card bases. Let's see, is there a different kind? These are our card bases for this month. We get all these foil embossed banners, two sheets of each. You even get mini glue dots. Um, here's the other card bases. Let me fold this. So this is a little thing that tucks into a little tab there, which I'm not going to open up right now. But then we have all of these really cool envelopes, some foil, and these are thick. So they're already like mounted on dimensional paper and they're die cut. So you just pop them right out. Some more envelopes. Hang on, there's more more envelopes. I'm just throwing these all over. I'm terrible. Look at these pretty things. Yeah, this is a layer for the front of the card. Some more front of the card layers. This kit makes 12 cards. And here's some, these are die cut, so you just pop them right out. They're already cut for us. A whole sheet of dimensionals, some really pretty sequins, and a Rococo Rose ink spot. Wow. That's a lot of stuff. Now, if you subscribe to Paper Pumpkin through me, I am part of a group that makes alternative ideas that we share with, um, I share with my subscribers, a file that contains about 15 different ideas to go with each month's kit. So if you've never subscribed to Paper Pumpkin, I highly recommend it. And when I get done with our Facebook Live tonight, you're going to be able to go back to all the information above the video. I will I will put it all in there when we're done. And there's a link there to subscribe to Paper Pumpkin or you can email me and find out how to do it, but there's a link there. I see my little mama just popped in. Hi, Haley. My daughter's on here. <laughs> so that's Paper Pumpkin. It's super fun. Now I have some great news for March. We're celebrating seven years of Paper Pumpkin. I can't believe it's been around that long, but in the month of March, Stamping Up to celebrate the seventh year is going to be including an extra stamp set in with the March kit. So you're gonna get two stamp sets. Holy cow, it's not gonna cost more. So March is a really good time to try out Paper Pumpkin if you haven't. I highly recommend it. All right, what else is happening? Um, I am sad to report the metallic 
Baker's Twine and Sequin Combo Pack that is part of our celebration promotion is now out of stock. We don't have any more, so I'm sorry. That's life. Um, all of the products in the celebration brochure are while supplies last, and that one apparently was really popular because it didn't last till the end, but that's, that's, that's just the way it goes, right? I know. I'm not going to whine about it. There's nothing I can do about it, so... Um, Dolly says, if you order before March 10th, you'll get the March kit. Yes, thank you very much. You must order before March 10th or subscribe. Now, you can do a prepaid paper pumpkin one month, three months, six months, or 12 months. I don't have 12 fingers, thank God. But <laughs> you can do um, all of those are your choice. And when you go to my online store, just go to the, there's Paper Pumpkin in the left-hand tab, or just type in Paper Pumpkin. All those options will come up for you. When your Paper Pumpkin subscription, the three-month, six-month, or 12-month, that's over $50. So you get to choose a celebration item, or two items, or four items if you do the 12-month, to um, add to your subscription. So you can actually get four celebration items with your one year subscription to Paper Pumpkin. It's amazing. Linda says she loves, um, loved my free Paper Pumpkin. Oh, Linda joined my team as a discount shopper and she, you get a free Paper Pumpkin kit when you do that also. And as long as we're there, we might as well talk about it, right? You guys know that I'm going to. Here it is. So um, during celebration, which lasts till the end of March, when you join my team as a, you can be a business builder or a discount shopper, doesn't matter to me you will get this beautiful little mini trimmer. This is, whoops, let me hold it right set up. This is a guillotine cutter, and it's perfect. It's the perfect size for right on your tabletop. Then, um, yeah, Cindy says she always gets her 12-month subscription during celebration. It's the perfect time to do it. You also get this six by six sampler pack of designer series paper, and any stamp set of your choice make it an expensive one because this is free. You get all of that when you join my team as a discount shopper, plus you get to be part of my team. And I see a lot of my team members coming in here. I see a lot of my discount shoppers. Some of my business builders are here. And just popped on, she's one of my discount shoppers. April just popped in, she's a discount shopper. Oh my gosh. Um, it's a fun place to be on my team. Right girls, ladies, what do you think? I think everybody's loving it. So, there's so much more to me than Sunday Night Facebook Live. <laughs> I do spread myself around. Yeah. Um, Haley said she got a scrapbook for the baby today, and I missed your comment. Let me see if I can see that again. As a gift from her aunt, she can't wait to begin designing pages for it. Oh, yeah. Scrapbooking is Haley's passion. She loves scrapbooking, and she is so very creative and talented. So I'm excited to see that, Haley. It's funny because I was I was kind of looking at that idea too. So I'm glad you're telling me that. <laughs> and who was that, Jody, that just said best team ever? Yes, Jody. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Stacy, discount shopping is awesome. It is. Hi, Elaine. I hope you are healing up well. Um, Bevan, yep, she's on my team. Patty's on my team. Holy cow. Okay. So, what else is happening? Um, told you about the, don't forget about the product coordination release. We have all these dies and the beautiful, please just punch, designer series paper. That's still available. You, these are all items you can purchase that coordinate with products out of the spring mini catalog or the um, celebration brochure. So, yeah, cool, right? Okay, I can't get this stuff mixed up because then I'll be just a complete mess. Um, my newest online class is the Painted Poppies class. This is your last chance to get in on the pre-cut cardstock pack. I had somebody email me tonight and ask me, what does that mean? Exactly what it says. It's pre-cut cardstock. All the layers are cut to the size that you will need to make the cards in the online class. Each class has its own private video tutorial, or each class, each card has its own private video tutorial, and we have a little, oh, never mind, that's for next month. I was going to say we have a little surprise for next month, but um, Painted Poppies and the whole Poppy Suite is one of my favorites. I have had a blast designing with that whole suite, so 
Um, I know I said the deadline was Friday, but I haven't gotten to my report yet to print it out and get. I'm gonna be getting the order in in the morning. So if you would still like to order the Painted Poppies online class with the pre-cut cardstock, it's $35. If you want just the PDF file and you don't want the pre-cut cardstock, it's $20. And if you want to get the whole bundle from me, it's $106. You get the online class for free, and you get the pre-cut cardstock pack as a bonus. But you must order today's the deadline. So, okay. Um, I just saw Donna pop in here, too. Hi, Debbie. Yeah, don't forget, please share this video. You can share it right now on Facebook. That really helps me out. If you're watching later on YouTube, please click on that share button. Give me a thumbs up. Hit the like button right now, that's also helpful. It has something to do with the algorithms on the internet and all the magical stuff that happens with all that, which I don't really understand, but you know, whatever. I'll do it. <laughs> okay, let me put that punch back. Now, I had a lot of you that were concerned about these. Who knows where these are coming from? <laughs> Last week, I posted a before picture and an after picture of my office and the po before picture was a disaster as usual i think we all almost all of us can say that we're familiar with the whole tornado hit my room thing but everybody was worried about the before picture had all a bag of kit kats in it the after picture they were gone and everybody wanted to know where did those kit kats go well in cleaning up my room i put them in a bin over by the door on the floor and then somebody mentioned Valentine Candy. We do a training every Wednesday with my um, team members. And um, we were doing, a, we do a Zoom conference call on Wednesday afternoons. And somebody mentioned Valentine Candy. I'm like, hey, where did my Valentine Candy go? I have a whole bag of Kit Kats someplace. So then I went on a hunt and I found them. Don't worry. <laughs> I like Kit Kats and sea salt caramels. Just saying. Okay, so um, what else? I've had a lot of people asking me for if they can order the birthday bonanza kit class. Here's the deal. The deadline for that was a week ago. I just sent them out, all of them out last week, but I have to tell you guys, I do make up extra packs. However, I hold on to those until about a week after I've shipped all of them out just in case somebody's gets lost in the mail, somebody gets damaged because their mailman takes it and bends it in half and crams it in their mailbox, ugh. Um, so I save some back just in case I have to replace them. After that period, I will let you guys know that I have a few left and um, if you would like one, you'll then email me and I will invoice you through PayPal and you can pay me and I'll send it to you. So. If you were one of the people that were really sad that you didn't get the birthday bonanza um, kit, and you should be if you didn't, <laughs> I'm just saying, um, there could be a chance you could get one. So I just wanted to let everybody know about that. Then I have mail, mail from last week. Okay, so um, I was gonna share this with you guys. It's maybe a tiny bit inappropriate, but I think we're all adults and sometimes that stuff's just really funny, right? <laughs> So, this is the Valentine card that my husband gave me. Can you read that? Yeah. <laughs> it's so romantic. <laughs> On the inside it says, and I don't just say that to anyone. Well, I would hope not, mister, because you would be in a lot of trouble. <laughs> so, there's my cute little Valentine card. Had to share it. Okay, I also got another beautiful Valentine from Lois Fairheim. Did I say that right? I think I did. Fairherm. I, I, I know you, Lois, but I don't know how to say your last name. Look at how pretty that is. <laughs> Thanks, you guys, for laughing. <laughs> because I know. I'm like, should I show it? No, I don't know. I, just, I think I should. <laughs> so thank you, Lois. This is absolutely beautiful. I'm going to set it right up here love it and then I got this beautiful card from Linda Morrison look at how pretty that is isn't it it's just soft 
It's soft and it's pretty and I love it. It's got the inside decorated too. I love that. Thank you so much, Linda. And Linda's thanking me for the lily pad bundle that she won. So, yay. All right. And next, Sharon Jones sent me this beautiful Hawaiian card with that tropical oasis. I love, love, love this bundle of products. And let's see if let's see if I'm smart enough to open it. I am. <laughs> Isn't that pretty? Thank you so much, Sharon. You are so sweet. And I know that Sharon's um, Sharon's got a little dog, and I want to say maybe she's a Maltese, but I'm not sure. She's a really super cute little dog named Zoe, and her dog is not doing well. So if you guys can put out some little doggy prayers for Sharon's little pooch, it's her baby, and we all know how we are about our pets, right? They're like one of the family, so she would appreciate some prayers there. <laughs> okay, um, next... My friend Barb, one of my besties, sent me this beautiful card. This is using that Timeless Tulips bundle. This is what we're going to be using in the Stamping Society blog hop on Sunday, March 1st. So, yeah. Isn't that pretty? Thank you, Barb. You're wonderful. Love it. And then my friend Dina sent me this little beauty. And that uses the little, um, th oh, what is that called? I have it named Thoughtful something thoughtful hang on hang on just a second thoughtful blooms oh I knew it was thoughtful <laughs> but isn't that just pretty and it's so very simple and you can see that she used three two layers actually on the front of this card of white cardstock so pretty and crisp and clean I love this card so thank you thank you my friend Dina and then I love getting mail. Doesn't Do you love getting mail? I love getting mail. <laughs> oh, I have to tell you guys. So I took Steve to the doctor. You know my husband is just falling apart. It's really um very disconcerting for him. And I make light of it. But it's, it's, it's not anything to make light of. Like his body is just kind of shot. And it's from 30 years being a pipe fitter. You know, that's really hard physical work. And it's a long time to be doing it. But anyways, I took him to the doctor... It wasn't Friday. I don't know when it was. Sometime this last week. And um, he's got another surgery scheduled. So <sighs> we're going to Arizona. And then the day after we get back, he's going to have his shoulder repaired because he can't move. They, well, he can now. They gave him another cortisone shot. But you can only go on so long like that. Like he used to get him all the time for his knees. And oh, my Lord. Um, yeah, so we got another surgery coming up and, oh, I don't know how long he's not going to be able to drive for, but that's a bad for everybody, right? I know. And he's ice fishing. So I went to my mom's for the weekend. He went ice fishing with his buddy at his buddy's cottage. And I thought he'd be home today when I got home, but he wasn't. And then I messaged him. I'm like, when are you coming home? And I think he told me, don't worry about it, like being a smart aleck. And I said, no, really? And he goes, Monday. And I said, seriously? He goes, yeah, you better be ready. <laughs> so I'll be ready. <laughs> Anyways, then we have prizes from last time. Oh, what happened with Mindy? Um, I missed the con. I missed what's happening with Mindy. Nick Resch, how are you? I miss you, buddy. I see Nick just popped in here. Okay, prizes from last week. So you know, you guys, there's three chances to um, get some fun things from me. One of them is by leaving a comment. And, um, oh yeah, this was my share. Okay, so for leaving a comment last week, I have a pair of our paper snips. These little buggers are really sharp and pointy and they will make you bleed if you stab yourself. So I want you to be very careful. Our Della Verdict. You are the winner of some paper snips, and I will be mailing these out tomorrow. So congratulations. The other way that you can get fun products from me is by sharing this video. So make sure you do that. And, oh, I'm going to have to go back through and read all these comments. Bad one. Oh, yeah. My husband is like the bionic man, too, because he's got both knees done. He's had a couple back surgeries. You know, he had the neck surgery that almost killed him, and now he's doing the shoulder. It's like, what's next? Like, what's next? Yeah. Um, for sharing my video last week, Cindy DeWitt of Menasha, Wisconsin. Cindy, you are the winner. Congratulations. Elaine's leaving for Arizona tomorrow. You have a great time. Aw, thanks, Nick. I miss you so much. 
We need to like get together. Next time you're in town, text me. Okay. Um, then for placing an order, guess what I have? Thanks for the laughs, you guys. This is hysterical. This is one of my um, funny little greeting sets. And when you place an order with me, you have an opportunity to get this fun product or another one like it. Um, I have a box full of them to give away. And G. Watson of Lawrenceburg, Tennessee, you're the big winner. So congratulations to all of you. Hi, Sharon. I'm happy to see you on here tonight. Julie, welcome. Okay, so I'm going to set these up here so I don't lose them. I lost, a stamp, I lost a couple stamp sets. I don't know where they are. I have the stamps out to use them, but I can't find like the case for the stamps. So I'm going to have to do some more cleaning because you guys know I cleaned up my room all last week. Well, it's all disasterized again. Is that a word? It is now. <laughs> it's a word. Disasterized. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Are we ready to stamp? Are you guys ready to stamp? I think. I think we should be. Let me, oh, I gotta pull myself up here on the screen because once I flip my um, my phone around, I'm not gonna be able to see what's going on and I hate that, you know, yeah, hate it. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna bring my live up. What are you guys drinking? Uh-huh. Oh my gosh, somebody's husband worked in a paper mill for 40 years. Yeah, well, my husband was the one who came in and replaced all the stuff on your shutdowns in your paper mills. So that's, he did a lot of that too. Yeah, it's really hard work for sure. Um, very labor intensive, long hours, concrete floors, up and down ladders, constantly welding in funny positions. He worked at the nuclear plants um, and you have to do x-ray welding for them and it's a whole big rigmarole and you're in a tiny little space upside down with a welding machine with a big heavy hood on sweating your Squirrel, remember the squirrel cards? Sweating those off. Yeah. <laughs> That's what happens. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. I think we're ready to stamp. And whoops, hang on. My laptop just came unplugged. I had a really good time with my mom. I'll tell you about it while I'm unpacking here. Um, Friday night, we went out for fish because fish fries are a big deal in Wisconsin. We went out for fish and had a great time. And then Saturday, I went and did my home party, and that was super, super fun. I always love meeting with this group of ladies. I've been doing parties for them for years. Oh, look, I just found one of my stamp sets I couldn't find. It's right here. It's right here where it belongs. Anywho, um, did my party, and then I went home, and I had just come from where I wanted to go back to. So I was kind of by Marshfield. And I came home and I said to my mom, the minute I walked in the door, I'm like, I'm feeling a little Mexican. How about you? And so we went to the Mexican restaurant for a late lunch, early dinner, and it was delicious. Chicken chimichanga, thank you very much. Yeah. So my mom was happy. And then we went shopping. Um, we were getting baby things. Haley, don't listen. <laughs> but we went, did a little shopping at the Target store. And, um, yeah, it was fun. So, busy weekend. Lots of stuff going on. Busier week coming up. I can't wait for this baby shower because I think it's going to be really fun. For those of you that are local, we are catering in food from Victoria's. And I am excited about that. It's an Italian restaurant here that just makes the best Italian food ever. So that'll be fun too. Okay, I think we're ready to flip. We're gonna flip the phone around. Let me move some lights out of the way here. Oh, somebody's drinking LaCroix. April, that's not that fun. <laughs> just kidding. Water's good for you, I know. It just sucks the joy out of my life. Okay, hang on, that is water, right? I think it is. Hang tight, if you get dizzy, close your eyes. And i be really careful not to show you what's behind the phone because, oh, you saw my Kit Kats, right? <laughs> my office is a mess. I'm not kidding. It's pretty bad, but I'll get it cleaned up. Don't worry, because I have a lot of creating to do, and I need to make sure that my mind is good and clear so I can create pretty things. 
Okay, there we go. Holy cow, we have 453 people watching. That's a lot. All right, so um, I hate it when the lights glare on the stamp cases. So I'm going to kind of move some things around here. I know, you guys, it's probably not nice for you either. I don't need this anymore because I actually found this. So that's good news. So we are going to be using the Lovely Lily Pad and also the So Sentimental. And the So Sentimental, hang on, let me grab this. So Sentimental comes in a bundle with these stitched So Sweetly dies. And oh my goodness, you guys. You know, these are cool looking, but when you start using them, they are a must have. They're so very cool. So I can't hardly wait to show you what we're gonna make. Oh, I see Kathy is, has lemon iced tea. I like tea. That's what I have. When I go out to a restaurant or we go to a, like a bar and grill for lunch or something, I will always order an unsweetened iced tea. And if they don't have that, I go right to the Southern Comfort Old Fashioned Sweet with olives. It, those are my options. That's it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. This is our Lily Impressions Designer Series paper. If you're new to me, you might not have seen this. If you're not new to me, you have seen it. Look at all the coordinating colors. This is so, so very pretty. Holy cow. Yeah, this paper is really, really cool. And I've got several projects that we're gonna be making with it tonight. So first of all, people ask me what this is. This is one of our piercing mats. And I just cover it with printer weight paper, tape it on so that I don't stamp all over it. But this is a good surface to stamp on, especially when you're using bigger photopolymer stamps. This is a clear photopolymer stamp and if we had a bigger one it won't stamp right on a hard surface. You need just this tiny tiny bit of cushion to make it stamp a really good image. Okay first things first we have petal pink. This is four and a quarter by eleven. It is scored at five and a half and where's my bone folder? Right here. I always like to use the bone folder to give it a good burnish. There we go. Okay, and then I've got a whisper white layer. This is for the inside. This is four by five and a quarter. And, oh, here we go. Another piece. This is, um, oh, I got something on there. We'll use this side. This is petal pink. This is four by five and a quarter. And that's going to be one of our front layers. Hang on, my my computer screen is just not scrolling again. I don't know why it does that sometimes and not others, but it's a problem. Then, first things first here, we are going to take this layer and put it in the Subtles embossing folder. And this is just such a pretty embossing folder. It doesn't look like much of anything. But once you have embossed with it, it looks like linen paper. It's just so, so pretty. It's a, well, it's called subtles, obviously, but it's a very subtle look that happens here, okay? And then we have a couple pieces of the Lily Impressions Designer Series paper. This one is two by five. This one is one and a half by four and a half. I'm gonna bring in my Banner Triple Punch and we are going to punch the bottom of this one. Perfect every time, I love this thing. At first, when they first came out with this, I'm like, yeah, I can cut my own banners. But I have to tell you, it's worth it. It's totally worth having to get that perfect every single time, I love it. Okay, super simple. We're gonna just kinda stack these banners together. So I'm gonna add a little liquid glue and I'm gonna Put, oh, that's kind of long. Well, no, that's about right. I was going to say that's kind of longer than I want, but it really isn't. So I'm going to put this banner on here, and then I'm going to bring in this purple one. And I'm going to bring that in about right there. Yep, that looks great. So I'm just kind of stacking both of these papers on top of each other. And then we're going to take this and add it to the front of our card base. And this is just a tone on tone. I really like that look. It's very popular right now to do that. So it's already pretty, right? I mean, what else are we gonna do to it? Oh, wait. 
I've got some scraps of the Lily Impressions paper. And one of the things we're going to do is we're going to take this Lily stamp and we're going to, well, first of all, I want to show you something cool with this. So these are reversible. So you can take the stamp and put it on your block with the detailed side down. And then I'm going to stamp off once. Okay. And now I'm going to clean this. This is our chamois. It's a cleaning chamois, and I love it more than anything else we've ever had for cleaning stamps. Now I'm going to flip my stamp around and use the detailed side. And then, let me stand up so I can get my get in here. I'm just going to stamp this. Now this doesn't line up absolutely perfectly, but it looks pretty darn cool. And that makes it reversible, right? So now you have two stamps that you can do something like that with. We have that going on with the lily pad, the big one, the little one. Um, there's a two-step stamping process, or this is also the reversible. With this little um, lily bud and the leaves, this one and this one and this one and this one. So yeah, all of them. <laughs> How about just all of them, Kelly? How about that? All of them are reversible, and it's just kind of a really cool thing to do. So what I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to stamp this detailed with Pretty Peacock ink right on my designer series paper, okay? Then I'm going to bring in the dies. Now, I forgot to tell you guys, hello, this paper is celebration paper. You can only get it free with a $50 order. This stamp set is a celebration stamp set. You can only get it free with a $50 order. And then the Lily dies that go with the stamp set are free with a $100 order. So you can get all of this stuff free when you put in a $200 order. Is that right? Was that math right? 100, 50, 50. Yep, math is hard, isn't it? Oh, math is hard. I'm going to pull out these two dies. Oh, and then I'm going to grab, look at this one. This one is like my favorite because it's so cool looking. I'm going to pull these out and we are going to die cut this. This fits right just perfectly on that flower. Then we're going to take this purple and we're going to die cut this detailed flower and also this element right here. So let me get this out of the way because I've already done all that so you don't have to sit and wait for me to do it and one of the things look at how pretty that is isn't that just gorgeous you could use either side really they're both pretty but I was looking at this flower look how pretty that flower is on the other side this is the purple side and this is the printed side with all the flower this side that side isn't that cool yeah so what I'm gonna do here I'm going to grab, hang on, I forgot to do this. Um, I don't know where did my sponge go. Hang on just a second, I got my silicone mat, I need to find my little sponge. Here it is. I thought I saw it someplace. I told you it's a mess, right? <laughs> I'm not lying. <laughs> okay. Um, here we go. We're gonna take some liquid glue. Here's my liquid glue. This is what our silicone craft sheet. And I'm just gonna spread some glue on here. I need to grab a scrap of paper. Here comes a scrap. This is just a scrap of typing printer paper. And, well, I guess I don't really need that. I can do this. I am going to add some glue to the back of this flower. And when you have really intricate dies like this, this is the best way for you to add glue so that you don't have it oozing out all over the place. And then I'm just gonna put it right down here, right on top of that. Whoops, look at this, I've got things sticking to me. Isn't that pretty? I thought it was really pretty. Then we are also going to take this layer. This is our inside white layer and I want to add this element to that. So, now you don't wanna lay this down in the glue that was where you had your flower, so you wanna make sure you put it someplace new so there's no glue under it. 
and I think I need to add just a little bit more glue. Now, one thing that somebody said to me last week, and I'll reiterate this, you have to like tap this around so you don't have big globs of glue. You don't want big globs. You want it to be a very nice, thin coat that you're putting on here. And here comes this element, and I think I'm gonna slide it right over so that it's just, whoops, I gotta get it up to the edge. Hang on, there we go. Right up to the edge and then I'm just gonna trim it off. Look at how pretty that is. Doesn't that make your inside look just beautiful? Yeah, so we're gonna take it and trim it off from the back side. And now we have a really pretty inside for our card. Hang on, I'll put that over by the Kit Kats. <laughs> yeah, here comes our card. Now the other thing that we're gonna do is we're going to take a scrap of white and this is from the So Sentimental. These are the funnest fonts ever. I go through a lot of thank you cards so I'm going to stamp this I can't thank you enough from that set and then I'm going to bring in and again I'm still using Pretty Peacock ink I'm going to bring in this die right here and die cut that. And I'm going to take this die right here. Hang on, I didn't get out. I needed a piece of peacock. Let's see if I have a scrap here. I do. I don't know. Yeah, it's big enough. I'm going to die cut this out of Pretty Peacock. I'm going to die this greeting out of Whisper White. And then you guys know how magical I am. <laughs> Just kidding, I'm not really magical. Well, maybe. No, no, I'm not. Um, I'm going to bring in some dimensionals, if I can find them. Let's see. How many dimensions, look at how many dimensionals do I have here? Like a gazillion of them. I'm going to bring these in and... What did you, Denise is saying, hey, Haley Fink, there's a Bobby Fink swimming for Florida right now and killing it in the 1650. <laughs> I don't think they're related because her last name is F-I-N-K. <laughs> That's cute. That's so cute, Denise. Yeah, Sharon, you're going to want this So Sentimental bundle. It is really, really cool. Wait till you see the other cards I've made with it. <laughs> I had a really good time. I got home today and I went right to town. And then um, I got a little hungry. So I went and had me some Taco Bell. Oh, I put dimensionals on there. And now I'm going to bring this in and I'm going to add some more dimensionals. I went and had a taco salad from Taco Bell. I know that's not real healthy, but it's better than a Big Mac and an extra large fry. Hmm. And it was delicious. Oh, uh, look at how pretty this is, you guys. What do you think? Is that not just incredibly gorgeous? Oh, let's put the inside in. So I have a little funny story from many, many years ago. I was super preoccupied one day. I was at the drive-thru at Taco Bell. Have you guys ever done anything really stupid like this? And I was just really in my head. I was thinking about all the things I needed to do. So I went to um, Taco Bell and I placed my order and I got up to the window where I got to pay for it and I paid for my order and wait for it, I left. How embarrassing do you think that was that I had to, oh, I don't like that there, hang on. I can't talk and stamp at the same time, obviously. I need to move this a little bit. This is the first time I'm ever making a card quite like this. So I left without my food. Yeah, I just left. And then I had to come back and say that I paid and left without my food and now I was here for my food. <laughs> I was a little embarrassed. Okay, we're gonna put this up here. Maybe right here. This'll do good. And then I'm gonna, whoops, put this flower in. These, the flowers also, yes, this is exactly what I wanted. The flowers also on dimensionals. What do you guys think? Is that pretty? I think that's really pretty. Now, I have 
<laughs> you guys are laughing. I know, right? Is that just like the dumbest thing? But I was just so in my head thinking about things and I, I ordered whatever it was I ordered and then I pulled up to the window and I paid my money and I left. It was just that simple. Here's my money. Away I went. And yeah. There we go. Don't forget to stamp your envelopes. Do you love this? I love this. Right? It's so, so pretty. Yeah. Oh, so Susan says she's done that. Yeah. You, do you feel like just a complete idiot? Yeah, I did. I felt really, really stupid. It was embarrassing. I, You know, if I was a bigger person, maybe I probably wouldn't have come back for my food. <laughs> but I was poor <laughs> and I was hungry. <laughs> so I wasn't giving that food away. <laughs> it's amazing what you'll do when you're poor, right? <laughs> yeah, I've done a lot of things like oh my gosh you guys okay so I'm gonna clean this up now and while I'm cleaning this up I can chat with you a little bit about my things I had to do I was a poor college student and the water pump went out on my um, I had a Mustang and the water pump went out on it and I had no money to get it fixed so I thought well I'm not I'm not dumb I can figure this out so I actually um oh you know what I was gonna use this so I stamped this. This is another greeting from that same set. But here's what I was going to do with it. I was going to cut it in half. I'll show you. And then I'll have to make a different card for this one. Because I don't have anything made up. Um, but anyways, my water pump went out of my car. And I thought, well, how hard can it be? So I went to the Ford garage. And I went to their auto parts center. I had to buy some wrench that I didn't own. And I bought a water pump. And the directions are right on the water pump on how to install it. In the apartment complex parking lot, I tore my water pump out of my Mustang and put in a new one. Yeah. <laughs> and that, you are very resourceful when you are poor, right? Yeah, I was pretty proud of myself. I also had to do the same thing with the radiator. That didn't go as well because I didn't think about disconnecting the radiator and all the antifreeze like fell out which hazmat teams would be called in now, but this was a long time ago. What do you guys think of this? Isn't that pretty to just spread it out like that? I just spread it out, so now I've got a nice border around it. So anyways, I'll do something with this. When I do stuff like this, I like to put it inside. I don't have anything to use it on right now, but I will come back to this and I'll go, oh, I should use that, right? Yeah, okay, here we go. We're gonna get out the next cards now that I'm done messing around with that. I think I still need that don't need this oh I know I was going to show you the other card that I had made this one uses the um, what's that called um, it's a celebration set you guys I know you're going to know what it is but I can't think of it here we come okay this stamp set the words you can get free with your $50 order oh sending you thoughts I knew it had thoughts in it sending you thoughts is a really great set and that's what I used on here. So on this one, I just used a circle, but on this one, I used those stitch so sweetly. Which one do you like better? Yeah, I, I don't know. I'm kind of partial to all of this. This is really kind of fancy, right? This one is a little different on the inside too. I just stamped the little lily pad and that little bud flower. If loving thoughts could heal, you'd be better already. And then I can't thank you enough. And then I've got lots of room to write on there. Okay, now we're ready to move on. Next, I am going to bring in my card layers here. Oh, and I've got some other cards to show you with the same layout. So I think you're going to love, love, love this. I've got a whole bunch of cards to show you with this same layout. I always like doing that because, I don't know, I just think that to be able to show you a gazillion different color combinations or whatever is really fun. Oh, there it is. I was looking for. Okay, here we go. So, I'll show you those in just a second. We're going to set these aside for now. And by the way, you guys, let's all take a drink. Uh-huh. Oh, I just heard something weird. I don't know what that was. Um, 
all of the dimensions for all of my cards and there's going to be an ingredient list. I figured out how to bring in links to all the products I'm using so you can click on them right from Facebook and it'll take you right to my online store. That was a win for me today because I didn't know I could do that, but I can. Um, all of those are going to be above this video once I post it, okay? So once we're done here tonight, I post the video. And of course, if you're watching later on YouTube, all of those shopping links are below the video in the descriptions. You can always find that, but you're going you're gonna to find lots of stuff there. Okay, and I just jacked out my whole sequence here, so hang tight. All right, here we go. Lovely lipstick. This is five and a half by eight and a half, and you're just gonna take it. Now you can score this if you want to. If you wanna score it, it's gonna be scored at four and a quarter and two and an eighth. But this is so much easier. Fold it in half and then fold it back in half again. But again, I know some people are a little anal and they like the score lines better. You're certainly welcome to do that, but this sure seems a lot easier, right? Okay, then, We've got this white layer, and I'm gonna bring in that new trimmer. If you're in the market for a new paper trimmer, this one is really nice, and it's only $25. This is Stampin' Up's new paper trimmer. We're going to take this piece, this is three and three quarters by six and a half, and we're gonna score this at two and a quarter. Let me do that. Two and a quarter and four and three eighths. And now you're just going to fold this in an accordion fashion like that, or a Z fold, I guess, is a better way to say it. Okay. Burnish those fold lines really good. Now, one of these panels is going to be just a little bit bigger. Can you see that? This one, this one's a little bit bigger. That's going to be your front panel. So we're going to work like this. I've got a piece of designer series paper that is... Oh, hang on, that's not the right one. A piece of designer series paper that is um, four by five and a quarter. And then I've got two more pieces that are, yeah, um, two by three and a half. Hang on, I gotta find my other one. I'm missing one here. Oh, for the love of Pete. Where is it? Did you guys did you guys see two of them here? I don't see two. Okay, hang on. We're going to cut one because we definitely want to have two. So let me bring in my paper. Here's the red paper. Oh, I think I might have a piece right here that'll work. Oh, that doesn't look big enough. Okay, so bring that paper cutter back in here. And we're going to do two inches. by three and a half. There we go. Set this, we might need that again. Okay, now we've got two pieces of this paper. There we go. We're gonna take this biggest piece right here and we're gonna put it right inside our card. Now, this is like, I don't know what you call this. Did Van Gogh do this painting? We had this discussion one other time, and I'll be darned if I just can't even remember. But whoever the big painter is that painted like this, Impressionism or I don't know. Um, can you tell I'm really artsy-fartsy? <laughs> Not so much. <laughs> but these are kind of right side up. So if you really look at this paper, now your flowers are upside down, but now they're right side up. So it really does have a right side up. You're going to put this inside here. And isn't that already just so like, wow, that's cool looking. Then you're going to take this piece that we score. Oh, that's not the right one. This piece that we scored. Find that bigger panel in the front. That's going to be the front of our card. So again, I'm going to look at my flowers and make sure that I have them kind of right side up. This one's not so easy to tell, but that's okay. You can just guess. And nobody would probably know anyways. Okay, so we're going to glue that right there. And then I'm going to use the opposite side of this on the next layer. So we're going to glue this right here. Oops. Hang on. I slid it around a little bit. 
you want to, you can cut this piece right here just a tiny bit narrower. But again, I don't think anybody's going to know any different that the margins aren't the same right there. It'll be fine. Okay, here's what you do. You're going to take some glue and you're just going to put it on this one side of your front panel. And you're going to pull this over to about, I don't know, three-eighths of an inch from the edge. So three-eighths of an inch or so, half an inch from the edge, okay? And then we're going to open this up and put some glue right here and close your card. It doesn't get a lot easier than this for fun folds, I have to tell you. Now look at that. Isn't that cool? And super duper simple. Then we are going to, hang on, I got all my pieces here that I kind of goofed up. Here's our Whisper White layer. And now I'm going to grab some lovely lipstick. Lovely lipstick is our card base color. So I'm grabbing lovely lipstick ink. And we're going to do the I Can't Thank You Enough again. I'm going to stamp that right on there. Close this up. And then we're going to die cut it with this die. And then we're also going to take a scrap of lovely lipstick and die cut that with this die. And of course, you guys know that I'm so magical, I have this done already. <laughs> magical. <laughs> yeah. Okay, dimensionals. Who saw them? Here they are. Pauline says, you do not surprise me at all, any woman who goes bear hunting. Oh, oh my gosh, that reminds me, you guys. So our bear hunting season here in Wisconsin is on a lottery. It's a draw, like you have to earn a whole bunch of points. And it's been like 9 to 12 years, 7 to 9 to 12 years before you actually get a tag um, to harvest a bear. And I got a tag this year. Nah! So yeah, I got a bear tag. All right, here we go. I'm just gonna put some glue. You could use dimensionals on here if you wanted to, but I'm just gonna add some glue. And I am going to put, I put this right up to the edge of my designer paper, kind of, and almost up to the edge of this designer paper size side. What do you think? Is that super easy? And look how pretty and colorful that is. Now I'm not done. Okay, Ooh, I'm having a little hot flash. I decided to bring in, I've got Noble Peacock Rhinestones. Love these. And I also love the Holiday Rhinestone Basic Jewels. These are still available, you guys, called Holiday Rhinestone Basic Jewels. I am going to grab these and see which color I want because I want to add just a tiny bit of bling. Hang on, I got to find my Take Your Pick tool. Here it is. Yeah, things falling down shortly. Here it comes. Somebody just said, oh, Haley says she needs a new paper trimmer. Haley, don't worry. Your mama will buy you one. <laughs> I'll get you one, honey. Okay, and I'm kind of looking at the colors that are in here. I think I'm going to go with these blue ones. And that's really going to kind of pop on here. What do you guys think? Put one there and one there. And I always go in threes and one there. So now I've just added a little bit of bling to that. Now, before we're done with that, uh, this is the purple papered one, so we'll do that on the next one. Okay, let's set this aside. I'm gonna make one more of these for you because why not? I have Coastal Cabana. Now, funny little story. My friend Dina swears that the color Coastal Cabana proves that God loves us. <laughs> I always laugh when she says that because it's just such a pretty color that it just proves that God loves us. <laughs> and we get a big kick out of that. Okay, so here we go. I have again folded it in half and folded it back in half and we're going to do the same thing, only I'm going to use this side of the paper. I should say this print of the paper, which is different than that one. And I love, love, love this dark, deep color with the Coastal Cabana. And then, where'd that white layer go? Here's my, here's my little white layer, okay? 
Again, you're gonna do an accordion fold on that. This layer right here is the bigger layer. I should say it sticks out a little bit. You know, see what I mean? It's a little bit bigger right here. So we're gonna take this piece and add it to that front little panel. And again, I'm gonna make sure that my flowers are kind of right side up here, if there is such a thing. And I see on this one I don't have an extra piece of this either, so, oh, that's different paper. That's not gonna work. Huh. Let's find this one. This one, what color was that on the back? Purple. We need some purple. Here's some purple. Okay, this will work. All right. Um, I am going to bring in, oh, that won't work because it's too big still. Let's do this. Okay, this needs to be, we're going to use this little guillotine cutter because it's so stinking adorable. This needs to be three and a half, three and a half by, what did I say it was? Three and a half by two. There's one, here's two. That looks bigger than two. Is it bigger than two? Nope, it's perfect. <laughs> I don't know why it looked bigger than two. Okay, now we're gonna use the purple side. And I thought the purple would look really pretty with the Coastal Cabana card base. There we go. And again, I am going to add just a little bit of glue, whoops, to this side. And I got glue all over the front. Did you see that? Did you see how I did that? Hang on, let me wipe it on my coat. You guys do that? I know, I'm just kind of messy that way. I have to do laundry anyways. I'm almost out of underwear. Oh, is that too much information? <laughs> like, I have a lot of underwear and they're almost all gone. <laughs> it might be, it might be a little bit too much. <laughs> okay, there we go with that. We're going to add a little bit of glue to the whole back and then you're just going to close your card. Oh, this is going to be so pretty. I haven't made this color combination yet. <gasps> Look at that. Is What do you guys think? Isn't that pretty? Okay, then I stamped this in Coastal Cabana. And I'm going to put some dimensionals on the back of it. It's the thank you, because I told you guys I need a lot of thank you cards, right? Yes, I do send out a lot of thank you cards. And here we go. Add this right here. And again, I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue on this side. And, ah, oh, so pretty. I love, love, love it. And then I wanna do some rhinestones again. And I think for this one, what should I do? Should I do purple? Purple on here? What do you think? Oh, I'm gonna do the crushed curry ones because there's crushed curry. Can you see the crushed curry in the paper here? Okay, I'm trying to, there we go, here we go. I'm gonna do this one because that's gonna make that crushed curry kind of pop, right? Boom, <gasps> that's really pretty. What do you guys think? Okay, one more thing I wanted to show you before we got too crazy here. Um, I need, let's see, I need two and a half. Oops, hang on. This is our purple paper yet, and I need this to be about, oh shoot. Where's my envelope? Right here. We're gonna go about mm, right there. I didn't even measure, but if you want to do an envelope, it's about five and three quarters by two and a half. And I'm just going to take my liquid glue and put it around the edge of this flap. And you guys notice how very little glue I use, right? It's not big globs that I'm squeezing out. I'm kind of scribbling with it. 
If you're squeezing out your glue in globs, you're going to have a big gluey mess. You just want to scribble with it and use as little as possible because that way it dries faster and you don't have it oozing out. Okay, I love to decorate the envelopes because it just really makes your projects look spectacular. And if you guys noticed, I can't stamp and check all the messages all the time. So if somebody asked a question, <laughs> you might want to ask it again because I did not see it. And the questions scroll up really fast too. So if you asked a question and I did not answer you, you can ask it again now and I'll pay better attention. <gasps> I didn't, I forgot to check and make sure my flowers were right side up, but they are. Look at how pretty that is, you guys. What do you think? Is that not just gorgeous? Yeah, so let me show you all the other ones that I made because I got home today and I pulled out this layout and I started working with it and I pretty much went completely crazy with it. I'm not even gonna lie. I just went nuts with this paper. And that just shows you how absolutely easy it is to work with. Here's another one with this paper. How pretty is that? This is Pretty Peacock and Pretty Peacock Ink. Yeah, there's another one. Here comes, uh, this is Bermuda Bay with Bermuda Bay ink. And another one. Envelope. And then I grabbed Grapefruit Grove and this pattern isn't that pretty? And then, I know, I told you I went, I went completely crazy. I'm not even kidding. Hang on. We got some more envelopes here. Which one is this one? This one? Oh, no, that's not the right one. I don't know where the envelope is. But anyways, look at this one. This is Flirty Flamingo. Because that's one of the coordinating colors in here. I'll have to match up my envelopes because I got them kind of screwed up here. But I got more envelopes, flaps, decorated. Um, and then I wanted to show you, hang on, I'm looking for my paper here. Here it is. I just went from the coordinating colors that are listed on the back of your designer series paper. So sometimes people don't know this, but on the back of our paper, it tells underneath the name of the paper, it says it's acid free and lignin free. But then it lists all the coordinating colors on the back of every designer series paper pack. And this, whoops, this is where those colors are coming from. And that's how I chose the bases for all of these cards is based on the coordinating colors in that Lily Impressions Designer Series paper. Yeah, pretty cool, right? Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I see all the love, all the hearts coming up. Um... Lynette is asking, what was the white card measurements? This part right here, this is three and three quarters by six and a half. And then it scored at two and a quarter and four and three eighths. And when this is done, I will have the measurements above the video. I already have them all typed up for you guys. I just have to copy them out of my um, document and put them above the video as soon as we're done being live so you can watch for that it also has links to my online store if you need to place an order um, it has links to paper pumpkin if you want to subscribe to paper pumpkin because well why wouldn't you we're getting two stamp sets next month yeah that's pretty cool and all kinds of great stuff like that so let's see what did I want to do here I wanted to add I think I want to add some red ones to go with whoops, the red that is in the background here. And I thought, whoops, I got some of my putty on there. I just thought these would look really pretty on here. Yeah, so bling it up just a little bit. I love that. Love, love, love it. Okay, oh, I promised to show you these. So this is where this is coming from. First of all, this is the poppy paper and the poppy bundle and this was one of the cards that um, everybody that came to the home party Saturday got to make that I put on. Um, this is the layout. I received this as a swap card and I don't remember who it's from but this is poppy parade with the whole poppy bundle. 
And then this was the card that everybody made with Rich Razzleberry. I just changed up the colors in the designer paper. It's still from the same bundle of paper, the poppy paper. And then I just went crazy with the Lily Impressions paper and made all of these cards and also this one. So we've got Stitched So Sweetly is the bundle and the stamp set. The stamp set is called So Sentimental. The dies are called Stitched So Sweetly. And I didn't even touch these yet. So these are all stitched and scalloped nesting rectangles. Holy cow, right? I can't wait to play with these. I might have to crack those out when we're done tonight and see what I can figure out. We'll see. But anyways, what do you guys think? I hope that you enjoyed this class tonight because I really had a lot of fun making all of these. And don't forget that celebration lasts until March 31st. If you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I would love to earn your business. I'd be happy to send you all of our current catalogs. This is the Celebration brochure. You can find this in my online store. You can click right on Celebration. It'll show you all the items that are available. Meerkats, free with the $50 order. Here's the Lilies, free with the $50 order. You can get the Framelits with the 100 so you can see this says 50 this says 100 then we have the impressions, Lily Impressions paper. Ignore this. We were, we ran out of that already. But you've got some great samples in here that go along with that Lily bundle. Here's the happy birthday to you. I showed you guys the cards that I made on Friday with that. There's coordinating dies. That's also in my online store. And the Golden Honey Designer Series paper. Oh, I know. I wanted to show you guys the... Um, kit. What did I do with that? It's here someplace. Oh, maybe I'll have to save it for next time because I don't know where I put it, but I had that celebration kit out here to show you and now I seem to have, I don't know. I don't know. I misplaced it someplace. I took that with me on Saturday. Everybody loved it. Of course, seeing that was, oh, here it is. <laughs> here, this. Oh, you know what? Somebody just told me that this might be gone. I'm not sure. And I'm not going to check right now, but it's possible that it's gone. And if it is, I'm really sorry. But I'm going to show you. This kit makes, I think, eight cards. You get four of this one to make and four of this one. And aren't they so pretty? Yeah, this is free with a $50 order, but it may be gone already. We don't know yet. So we'll have to check that out. Yeah, um, Diana just said she heard this kit is sold out. I think it might be too. So, yeah. Thank you, Dee Dee. You are so welcome. Dee Dee says thank you. Thank you, Charlotte. Thanks for watching. Um, does anybody have any questions that I might have missed? I'm going to flip the phone around. If you get motion sickness, close your eyes right now. And we will do a little flip. There we go. See, I didn't even show you the mess that's on the other side of this phone. <laughs> I'm pretty good with the flip. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Um, Claudia says she has the kit and she loves it. Yeah. Cheryl says it's gone too. I'm really sorry. Jody says it's gone. Thank you guys. Um, that's That makes me sad, but I might have a whole bunch of them. Just saying. We might be giving them away. So <laughs> we'll see. All right, I don't think that I have anything else to tell you guys. I will be live again. Let me get my calendar here. I will be live again on March 1st. Yay, it's already March. I can't believe this winter is going so fast. Well, I mean, let's be real. In Wisconsin, winter is not even close to being over because we can still get snowstorms in May. I'm not even kidding. But, um... Yeah, it's like going to be March already. So anyways, our next Facebook Live is March 1st. Um, set yourself notification on your phone so you don't forget. Uh, Mary Lynn is asking, what do you do with the bear if you get one? You eat them. They're from the pig family. So yeah, bear meat is, is if it's prepared properly, it's just as good as deer meat, which is venison. And it's delicious. And we do eat them. So the bears are harvested. They're not just killed for fun. They're harvested and we eat them and yeah, it's um, a family tradition. My dad was a big bear hunter. He's been gone for, I don't know, since 2012 
and um, he's the one who got our whole entire family. Well, I should say my husband doesn't bear hunt with me. Haley goes with me. My mom goes with me now. So it's me, Haley, and my mom, and sometimes Haley's husband if he doesn't have to work. It's super fun. Good family time. And um, we really enjoy ourselves. And if that offends you, it's okay. I don't like everything everybody else does too. So <laughs> it is what it is. We all have different hobbies and tastes and styles and whatever. So, <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, I don't see any other questions coming in here. I sure appreciate all you guys being here. And uh, thank you so much. Oh, yeah. And my grandbaby will be a bear hunter also because that's what we do. <laughs> Thanks, Haley. Yeah, Haley's shower is on Sunday. We're super excited for that. She's got that little melon going on that belly that you just want to touch it every time you see it. It's so cute. <laughs> yes. Thank you, Denise. Denise is glad you enjoy hunting together. We really do. It is a family tradition and it's kept our family very close and and. Um, it's a, just a enjoyable thing that we do together. So thank you so much. The world would be boring if we were all the same. Yes, Chris, you are absolutely right. Absolutely right. Thank you guys so much for sharing my video. I really, really appreciate it. And um, don't forget to give me that thumbs up. That really helps me out too, whether you're watching now or later on YouTube. I always appreciate it. And uh, I also appreciate your orders. Thank you so much. Um, we will catch you next Sunday, 7 p.m. Central Time, right here on my channel. All right. Oh, Nancy says, my son-in-law got a bear a few years ago. He made a delicious stew. Yeah, it, it's my mom has a recipe that, oh, it's so delicious. It's just, everybody loves it. Yeah. So, all right, Becky's Family Hunts. Thank you so much, you guys. Have yourselves a great week. Bye-bye.